the media defines the experience of democracy in this country. John Dewey, he said, democracy needs to be worked on over and over again. And what he meant by working on democracy was working on relationships, democratic living. Whereas I think it's great that there's a renewed sense of civics education. I think we have to broaden the definition of civics beyond the political rendition. There's a question to focus on about the role of the news media as a source of discourse in addition to a source of headlines and information. How do you feed that diversity of perspectives and feed it back so that what we're doing is creating a discourse that is not zero-sum? There's a framing of discourse and a, the way in which you try to empower different voices that I think is absolutely critical. I wish every news network had somebody whose sole purpose would be to tweak the dominant ethos of, of the network. For example, it's not enough to suggest that there may be an education bubble and that the cost of higher education is now so much higher than it used to be that people can't participate in it. But to go a little further and ask, what would be the implications of that? Is it a good thing or a bad thing if 500 of the nation's colleges and universities go bankrupt? Those are the questions that don't get asked very much. Civic-based news is extremely important for people to learn how to get involved in things. I think many people are frustrated because they don't know where to get involved to find out how they can be good citizens, and it should be action-oriented. Remember that this civilization was built on the premise that communities interacted and communicated with one another and worked together. That's how it was built.